Yan, I'm recording this session. So, welcome to today's uh, synchronous session. So, this is the first synchronous session na gagawin natin that we will actually dis uh, discuss a lesson. Kasi yung last time parang syllabus discussion lang naman tayo. No? Okay, so we begin with, uh, lipat muna ako ng screen. Start muna tayo sa ano, no? yung, kahit yung derivation muna ng mga different processes natin. Okay, so um, meron tayong four processes na itatackle dito sa um, METI 17. No? And uh, those four processes are, uh, that are, yung processes na to is related to the first law of thermodynamics. No? So we have your isobaric, uh, isochoric processes. Uh, then we have isobaric processes. Then next is adiabatic. And lastly, we have your isothermal processes. Okay. So, start tayo dito. Sa isobaric processes. So, I'm, I'm looking at the handouts. No? Ito yung handouts na may derivation with a, a derivation of the different formula, uh, formulas na involved. <laughs> and, and one thing you might notice is meron palang missing slide dun sa ano, no? dun sa ano tawag dito yung sa lesson about uh, the first, uh, the the different na uh, various processes involved in the first last first na uh, laws of thermodynamics etong isobaric tama na uh, parang for some reason na, na delete to para na skip siya from uh, isochoric diretso sa sa uh, adiabatic no so oh, pero na, na nasa handouts naman siya so hopefully uh, if you read handouts na ano siya no na spot yun naman to na nandito yung parang formula niya and uh, nasa summary din naman siya so uh, pero uh, uh, I'll definitely check the I don't know uh, i edit ko na lang yung um yung mismong lesson natin para mag-reflect tong isobaric process okay so we begin with uh, isochoric muna so isochoric just means that the processes are uh, carried out at constant volume. Okay, so if it's constant volume, usually this means that our system is enclosed in some uh, rigid, rigid na form of container, no? Such that uh, yung ano natin, volume natin does not change over time. Okay, so um, in in metallurgical na applications, uh, you, you could readily imagine kung ano yung uh, parang ano no, parang usefulness nito. So if for example we have a uh, parang pressure vessel then that is an, an, an isochoric na system no So siguro ano bang industry ang uh, helpful to uh, if you have something like um yung uh, leaching processes no that are carried out at high uh, pressures then that can be one of the cases wherein we can use isochoric conditions okay and probably you can think of other other I don't know. Uh, and nandito sa slides natin, pero din kayo tong si as simple as a pressure cooker. No? That is also an uh, isochoric process. Okay, so um, we note that for isochoric processes, ang pinaka importante dito is that uh, there is no change in volume. Tama? Over over time, hindi nagbabago yung volume natin, which means that our W will be equal to zero. So note that for every uh, discussion natin dito sa, ano, no, sa various processes and as a first law thermodynamics we always assume that and and this is for simplicity no para mas maintindihan natin but later on pag nag more nag proceed tayo to more or mag nag proceed kayo to more complex uh, thermodynamic states possibly na there are cases where it yung work natin is not in the form of pressure volume work no? okay so um pwede siguro ipakita ko siya lang okay so you probably notice na di ba dito sa ano um met E17 always uh, we assume gases no uh, and uh, kaya gases because in, in most of the time most of the time mas madali kasi natin ma, ma ano no ma ma explain yung thermodynamic concepts uh, in terms of the gases no kasi gases uh, uh, have this sort of ideal behavior no and uh, this ideal behavior can be uh, related to the other systems as well. Okay, so we always assume na parang ganito yung setup, no? We have something like konware, and this is the classic examples. Oh, 
Ito yung classic example natin. Kasi uh, this can be reproduced, uh, replicated para maging, uh, para mag-apply sa other processes as well. No? So parang we have a sort of uh, container. Tapos itong container na to can have a parang sort of piston dito. So for example, parang ganyan. And this piston right here can move up and down. Okay? So may tayo, sort of ganyan tayo. So meron tayong uh, parang gases dito. Okay? So these are gas molecules, kunwari. Okay? And um, <clears throat> depending on the system, pwede natin i-set up siya in such a way na, kunwari, walang papasok na heat dito, walang exchange of heat between the... And in this particular scenario, no, ito yung magiging surroundings natin. Tapos ito yung magiging system natin. Okay? So we can set it up na parang pwedeng, kunwari, uh, naka, meron siyang ano, um, mat, parang yung boundary niya is made out of a material that does not allow the transfer of heat. So para maging adiabatic siya. Na we can set it up na itong boundary na to can be um, parang permeable siya. So it can uh, exchange matter or pwede rin maging uh, non-permeable siya such that wala exchange of matter from surrounding and system. And pwede gawin natin rigid itong container to para hindi mag-change yung volume. Tapos pwede natin i-fix itong piston na to uh, para itong piston na to i-fix natin siya para hindi magbabago yung volume or pwede movable yung piston na to. It can move up and down para maging uh, non constant yung volume no so so this is a very good na parang representation um, of the four systems no and any type of um, parang process na gusto natin ma ma, ma ma describe kaya natin siya gawin in in this type of parang piston uh, cylinder na na arrangement no okay so um, we started with uh, isochoric process, isobaric process, uh, isochoric I mean, process. So parang ang gagawin natin is non-movable yung piston natin. So hindi siya pwede mag gumalaw. So magiging parang ano to, magiging um, kumbaga uh, fixed tong ano natin, uh, itong volume inside, itong volume dito is fixed such that yung delta B niya over time is equal to zero. Okay? So when we have a gas, ang, ang, uh, the only way it can exert any type of meaningful work uh, or it can exchange work between your system and your surrounding is when uh, um, it does, I don't know, yung tinat ang tawag natin is pressure volume work. Okay? So, dito sa, sa particular section na to, when we say work, um, when we say W na work, we always mean pressure volume work. So, that's work. Um, that is done by the system because of the changing uh, volume and pressure. If you can call it that. Okay. So, <clears throat> um, yung pressure volume work natin, uh, if we do, I don't know, if we do delta PV or no? D of PV, This is uh, if we do work now. The uh, infinitesimal na mga changes in, in work is equal to uh, dPV. So, ito, pwede natin express as kung i-evaluate natin itong ano na to, uh, derivative na to, this becomes dP plus yung, yung full derivative niya. No? So, magiging uh, P dV plus V dp parang ganyan siya okay tapos usually um in 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 our systems uh yung vdp term this becomes zero no so this is be because uh yung pressure natin uh maintain at, at a certain condition no or at certain equilibriums ginagawa lang natin siyang uh, um, constant pressure. So parang hinhold natin siya at one pressure such that magiging PDV na lang yung natitira natin which gives us, if you want to take the work done, integral na lang siya ng PDV from volume 1 to volume 2. And this gives us uh, 
P oh, this gives us P times change in volume. So usually ganito yung expression natin ng uh, pressure volume work. No? So it's uh, if we have PDV yung work natin, then um, if you have an isochoric system, then this becomes zero. No? So that's why uh, if you look at the... Ano, Ito. That's why dito, yung uh, work natin is, or yung delta U natin is just equal to uh, Q. And we pl place a subscript na V to indicate na itong QV na to is work, uh, is, is heat that is done at constant volume. Okay? So, we, we can uh, explain. Uh, this is the simplest way to, I don't know, no, to explain kung bakit si delta U at, at constant volume is just equal to Q. is equal to Q at constant volume, which is uh, QV. And if you remember, yung Q natin can be expressed as uh, in, in terms of uh, the uh, heat capacity multiplied by the change in temperature. So, ito, magiging QV is equal to CV dt. Okay. So, uh, summary of all the terms niya. Uh, usually, pagka, when we do itong ano, no, mga thermodynamic processes, we usually express them in terms of uh, work. Uh, kung ano yung um, nangyari sa work, ano yung nangyari sa Q, ano yung nangyari sa delta U, and ano yung nangyari sa uh, enthalpy. No? So, enthalpy is a new term. Uh, probably, hindi siya new term for you guys. No? Pero, uh, ito yung first time na in-introduce yung term na to dito sa sa course na to, no? And siguro we can have a short discussion of enthalpy. Although th this uh, enthalpy will be discussed further in a in another module, no? So, mas ma maintindihan ito. But, but for now, uh, what you need to know about uh, about enthalpy is that si enthalpy, um, it's not equal to heat, no? So, enthalpy, and I think na naka written in bold letters to no, dun sa slides, is not heat, no? Hindi siya heat. So, enthalpy is a sort of, the uh, uh, best way to put this is, uh, we can describe it as heat content, no? As opposed to heat. So, heat is, di ba? Heat kasi is a form of energy, no? It's a energy that is, uh, energy in transit yung tawag nila dito, no? So, it's, it's, a, it's a type of um, parang energy that is in motion, no? Heat content is uh, a sort of para siyang potential to do work parang ganun, in, in the form of heat. So when we burn, uh, for example, um, certain uh, certain uh, substances, kunwari, meron siyang uh, heat, uh, may, may, may heat content yung, yung specific system na, na yun that when burned can do uh, a form of usable work. Okay? And in... in in terms of uh, ano, gases, ang usable work ngayon is in terms of uh, pressure volume work. So pa parang ganun yung heat content. No? Okay? So um, enthalpy is also a, I don't know, uh, this is also a state function. So enthalpy is given the term H. Tapos it's just equal to yung internal energy natin plus PV. Where PV is a uh, parang uh, a work expression. Ano? tong PV na to. Okay? So later uh important to kasi because when we look at the thermodynamic processes uh, kailangan natin tingnan tong um itong tat, uh, apat na terms na to no? yung work, yung Q, yung delta U and H. So um you'll notice na si H actually atong eh, enthalpy is a more uh, parang, in a way practical term siya no. Because if you look at, uh, for example, kung titingnan kasi natin yung delta U, um, internal energy, um, it's somewhat impractical to measure uh, the uh, internal energy changes ng system natin. Um, because ang, ang constraint dito sa internal, uh, kumbaga yung internal energy natin is um, we're looking at uh, parang parang ano no uh, particles yung, yung different na state ng system natin in terms of its internal uh, particles or internal atoms and whereas si enthalpy parang related siya sa parang uh, capacity to do work ng ng system natin which is a more practical na ano no uh, pero 
Eh, siguro ma- mas ma-explain to sa later session natin no. Uh, during sa ano. And uh, siguro abangan niyo na lang yung podcast because in the etong enthalpy ano. And hopefully na- nakikinig kayo sa podcast no kasi we we put uh, some effort to sa podcast no para makapag-deliver kami ng uh, parang good content sa inyo para uh, mas maintindihan niyo or ma-appreciate yung mga lessons natin no. Uh, sa Enthalpy podcast namin, actually invite namin si Doc Mena. So if you're familiar, si Doc Mena is one of the uh, parang professor emeritus ng, ng department. At si Doc Mena is one of the, siguro I can say one of the best professors sa, sa Triple M natin. And Doc Mena is actually my advisor. And actually si Joy did. Joy, Joy's advisor is actually Doc Mena as well no, sa yung thesis. So yun. So it's a special episode. na uh, you learn a lot about about uh, enthalpy no lalo na kasi nandoon si Doc Mena. Okay? So, anyway, um kaya importante din na i- itingnan din natin kung ano nangyari sa uh, nangyayari sa enthalpy when we talk about thermodynamic processes no. Okay? So, balik tayo dito. So, uh, agree tayo dito no that work is equal to zero because uh, uh your Q uh, uh, your your pressure volume work Uh, your volume does not change therefore there is no pressured volume work done uh, your q is just equal to cv dt where cv is the heat capacity multiplied by uh, the change in temperature and this cv right here uh, indicates that this is um, the heat capacity at constant uh, volume no? tapos uh, we also have and uh, actually pag uh, ano siya no uh, maybe you encounter na bakit ang ibang terms natin uh, if we measure heat is equal to uh, CV DT siya pero some textbooks or some of the examples said of CV DT and CV DT yung nakalagay okay so the difference is if yung eto yung form na ginamit natin we are doing this on a per mole basis to okay so per mole basis so meaning Um, whatever uh, parang quantity na makocompute natin dito naka per mole siya. So for example, if we compute it in calories, kunwari yung lumabas dito na Q is equal to calories, calories per mole yun. Or kung joules and then or kilojoules, maging kilojoules per mole siya. Okay? So if walang n kung walang n na term or yung number of moles na term All, always calorie per mole or kilojoules per mole yung yung ano dito or liter atmosphere so that's also a, a valid measure of uh, a valid unit for i don't know uh, energy liter atmosphere per mole okay so pero pag dito pag eto na yung term ginamit natin then this is not on a per mole basis so ang, ang lalabas dito is calories na pwede ring joules pwede ring liter atmosphere or whatever pa na um ibang units of uh, energy measurement na na i-express natin yung yung equations natin. Okay? So ho- uh, hopefully that clarifies no kasi um di ko alam kung matatakot natin today. I think we have an example no na that shows na parang uh, sobrang iba yung sagot pag naka pag hindi natin tinake into account yung per mole at pag tinake into account natin yung per mole basis. Okay? All right. So, uh, and for my questions, kayo just uh, place it in the chat box, no? And actually, may tanong para si ano, no? Uh, sir, yung Q at H po ba interchangeable po sa mga formula? Yung parang dun sa uh, kasi delta U is equal to Q minus W. Parang kawig po niya ang H is equal to U plus uh, PV. Actually, hindi siya interchangeable, no? <clears throat> ang Ano kasi is uh, si enthalpy is a state function no? so or state variable siya. Whereas si heat natin is uh, not a state variable. No? It's a path uh, dependent uh, variable. Okay, so uh, hindi siya pwede going interchangeably. Ang pwede mong i-interchange na values um, is actually si QP. No? QP. So if I... Let me show it dito na. So we have actually a term, a special type of heat uh, uh, expressed as QP. 
And P here signifies that we are doing it at constant pressure. No? And QP is equal to CP DT naman. So instead of V, we have uh, P. And this indicates that this is the heat capacity at constant pressure. And itong CP DT, itong QP is equal to CP DT is just equal to uh, H no? or DH. Okay? So ito siya. So this term right here is uh ito yung equivalent sila. Itong uh, enthalpy and QP because uh itong type of heat na to this is now uh the heat content no as opposed to parang yung energy in motion na uh, just heat no. Ito heat content na to. Ito si QP. Okay? So uh, siguro medyo confusing siya no and I think if ko um malilinawagan tayo dito pagka uh, dumating yung uh, podcast no uh, about enthalpy. Um at uh, sige uh, uh, i-discuss natin yan John Andre no sa sa itong pag na-discuss tayo ng isobaric systems. Okay? So um eto so okay na tayo dito no sa sa first na sa first na process natin which is the uh, isochoric process. Ngayon, napunta naman tayo sa isobaric na process no. So sa isobaric Ang assumption dito, so ito na in-express in na niya in terms of QP and PDV. No? <clears throat> so dito, um, yung QP natin uh, is because uh, we are doing heat at constant pressure. no So this is heat in transit at constant pressure. Tapos itong PDV, this is because uh, yung, uh, this is the ano, no? uh, pressure volume work na ginagawa ng system natin. And by the way, uh, hindi ko muna, ano no, um, kumbaga, hindi ko muna binanggit yung mga conventions natin so if you um, if you listen to the podcast uh, i talked about uh, yung different conventions na ginagawa natin no? uh, when in uh, when it comes to ano um, <clears throat> solving uh, the first law of uh, or yung equations involving the first law kasi uh, medyo depending on textbooks or what textbooks you look at pwede magkaiba yung uh, magiging uh, convention niya merong iba na q plus w so minsan uh, sinasabi nila yun daw yung parang the chemists na uh, chemists na ano no na convention kasi mostly yun yung ginagamit sa chemistry no yung Q plus W. Tapos uh, meron ding yung Q minus W which is yung convention na ginagamit natin uh, dito sa MET E17. Um personally ako I like to use the Q plus W system no because in 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 it makes more sense para sa akin no. Uh, kasi when we are adding quantities, uh, we can always express quantities in, in terms of uh, pwede natin lagyan lang ng negative and positive. No? So para sa akin, uh, if you are adding quantities, uh, then therefore dapat summative lang lahat. So for example, if I if I go from position A to position B, tapos gusto ko malaman yung distance between position A and position B, uh, then I can just add the different distances na it travel ko. So, uh, so baka mas ma magigets nyo kung ano no. So where I'm coming from no. So so why I like Q plus uh, uh, W. Pero uh, baka mas malito kayo. Uh, I-explain ko na lang. And actually si Sir, Sir Ken actually gave a, a, a good na ano no. Parang analogy to help us remember kung i-add ba natin or i-minus ba natin. Okay. So. So uh, why I like Q plus W is because if you say, for example, we have something like ganito, no? Uh, so for example, if I'm moving from A to B, A to B, and I want to know the distance between A to B, and let's just call that distance delta D, no? And for example, para ma-measure ko yung distance na to, I'll be measuring uh, this distance, kung ay ganyan, tapos this distance, this distance, this distance, parang ganyan. Kung ay lang, ganyan, no? So that's the way I measure it. So if I measured it uh, this way, uh, para makuha ko yung parang, uh, uh, parang matangit pala ito yung example ko. So if I measured it, for example, ganyan. No? If I move, ganyan, tapos bumalik ako. So let's just do a straight line. No? Then bumalik ako certain amount, tapos nag-move ako certain amount, parang number line. No? So just imagine the number line. Tapos eventually, dumating ako dito sa a ending point A. Kawari, ganyan yung movement ko, no? Then to know delta D, I'll just have to add all these uh, movements. No? So pwede ganyan lang. Delta 1 plus delta D2 dot dot dot. Tama? 
And this makes sense. So parang intuitive siya na parang summative lang dapat lahat ng mga changes, yung mga intermittent changes na ginawa nyo. And that's that's similar to what happens to Q minus W, no? parang ganyan, Q plus W. Na parang uh, energy is in always in motion. So if you know uh, what happens to Q and what happens to W, so kunwari, ito, nag-increase si W, nag-decrease si W, then you can know what happens to delta U, no? Tama, no? And uh, it makes sense na parang dapat uh, para summative lang siya. Mas, 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 ano, mas, mas na-imagine ko to. So para hindi ko naisipin na oh, wait lang, nag-move backwards itong delta D2, eh. So dapat minus itong, hindi ko naisipin na dapat, hindi ba dapat itong uh, D2 minus siya? Dapat parang ganyan. Minus D2 dapat siya. Kasi nag-move backwards eh. Parang hindi ko naisipin yun. Kasi I'll just, uh, ikakabit ko na lang yung negative dun sa uh, D2 itself. So pwede plus negative D2. Parang ganyan. <laughs> At least that's my analogy kung bakit uh, mas, mas gusto ko yung Q plus W. No? Pero e, our convention is Q minus W uh, para set na natin na work is always, uh, will always have a negative component if it is uh, done by the system. Tapos uh, done by the system meaning yung system nyo yung nag-exert ng uh, pressure volume work doon sa surroundings natin. Okay? So uh, ito na, ito sa, doon sa podcast natin, no, ang, ang in-explain to ni Gab, na ang convention natin is positive yung work. <coughs> positive yung work if work is being done by the system. So uh, for example, if this is your, ano, if this is your system and surroundings, so uh, yung surroundings now. So positive work siya if it's an expansion type or if you're, you have an expansion PV work. So meaning etong si system natin this one is exerting pressure sa surrounding so it's moving upwards so it's expanding so it's doing work on the system that's positive tapos negative siya pagka yung surroundings naman yung nagdo-do work sa system natin so because of that and since q minus w tayo mangyayari is whenever the system does work uh yung overall delta u natin when system when the system does work goes down Tapos, uh, pero yung delta U naman natin goes up when the surroundings uh, does work on it. Okay? So, yan. So, para sa akin, uh, so you can use Q minus W, no? Tapos, i, dito na lang kayo sa W titingin, dapat maalala nyo siya. Or, uh, or just think of it in terms of delta U, no? So, kunwari, may delta U ka, just know that when the system is, ano, is uh, if the work is being done on the system, so parang it makes sense na since the system is doing work on you, dapat yung overall internal energy mo will increase. Tama? So it will in, uh, increase, dapat meron tayong uh, positive W na lalabas dito. Okay? And that is, ano na no? Parang take into account na yung so parang ang if you do Q minus W, magiging minus negative W yan. Because our convention for work is uh, uh, positive yung work if uh, done on the system siya. So parang eh, kung expansion siya, magiging ganito kasi siya. So yung mahirap lang sa Q plus W convention is instead of using this, magiging work is equal to uh, negative PDV siya. Volume. Parang ganyan. Para ma magiging uh, you get the point, no? Na, na parang, uh, depending on how you look at it, pwedeng may negative ka dito, depending on your convention, or pwedeng uh, positive yung convention mo dito. Pero I always like to think of it in terms of uh, sino yung gumagawa ng work. If work is being done on the system, dapat ang overall change ko uh, dito sa delta U will be positive. So think about it this way na lang, no? Pico, less confusing siya if you don't worry about conventions, just worry about uh, ano yung nangyayari sa delta U? So, if, um, example, dito, no? Work is being done on the system. So, parang um, itong surroundings natin nagpuput ng pressure dito such that ito nag-increase yung wari, kinetic, overall kinetic motion niya. Then it makes sense. Dapat si delta U would be uh, increasing. Okay? So, that's why positive dapat yung uh, itong ano, contribution nito. Now, if work is being done by the system, so the system is doing work on the surroundings. So parang ano siya, no? 
uh, y- yung yung analogy ni Sir Ken dito is uh, parang it's as if ikaw kunwari ikaw nag nag do work ka you are the system and you're doing work on the surroundings for example nag exercise ka you're doing work on the system which is yung kunwari yung gym equipment mo parang ganyan so ang nangyari doon is since uh, ikaw yung nag exert ng work dapat make sense na yung overall internal energy mo bababa parang mapapagod ka in a way parang so in a way parang nagme-make sense din dito no so delta u mo dapat if you're doing work on the system what ikaw nagdo-do work ka na on the system so this is expansion na uh, type of pv work no if you're doing work on the system then then it makes sense your overall delta w will be decreasing tama so dapat uh, regardless kung ano yung convention na ginamit mo when you look at delta u dapat yung overall na Uh, term na luma- lalabas dito is a negative value dapat. Okay? So hopefully that clarifies ano no, uh, yung convention about Q and W and if you're, you're still having a hard time uh, just think of the uh, parang parang gym example no na parang kung ang system mo nagdo-do ng work siya ba mapapagod or mag-increase ba yung ano niya parang internal energy. Okay? So eto Uh, tayo? So we we're, we're doing balik tayo dun sa ano no sa ano natin handouts. So ganyan siya. So this is uh, in, in terms of uh, ano kasi to no uh, yung PDV na to is uh, work is equal to PDV wherein the this equation is specifically um specifically na naka state siya in such a way na kung expansion work magiging positive yung term tapos kung uh, expansion work meaning yung final volume is greater than the uh, than the ano no initial volume so if it's expanding then it will uh, be uh, negative yung magiging value niya or contribution sa delta u which makes sense no tapos kung contraction naman the work is being done on the system that becomes a uh, parang contraction na uh, work naman so the volume is uh, being contracted no so final volume is less than the initial volume okay tapos uh, if you look at it na uh, yung bdp ito yung nabanggit ko dati no na yung bdp term is equal to zero no so you you can actually use this equation as well no so If you do low, do h is equal to u plus b p v, so this is a state equation, no? Uh, because uh, yung yung again state variable tung c h meaning ang nagmamatter lang is yung uh, final at initial. No? And by the way, uh, siguro hindi ko na bang ito sa podcast, no? Pero I have a good analogy of how you think about uh, state equations, no? So think about it this way, no? If you are if you have for example a Um, meron tayong mga state variables like delta u and uh, delta h um, have, if you look at these terms you never parang never natin uh, dinidetermine actually yung internal energy and sir can actually touch on this a bit no, dun sa podcast uh, mm-hmm. parang kunwari hindi naman natin minimeasure yung uh, total internal energy ng system hindi rin natin minimeasure yung total enthalpy ng, ng system no always we are measuring change in enthalpy and change in Uh, change in internal energy. So why that is so, and we can probably apply this to most na uh, uh, ano no, state functions, lalo na sa thermodynamics. Um, why that is so? Because um, sometimes impossible din talaga i measure yung total. Pero we can monitor the system such that kaya natin i measure yung changes na nangyayari siya. So a, a good example on this on, on how we can think about this is try to look at the ocean. No? So for example, sa ocean. If you look, uh, if you go to the ocean, uh, I, I would say that it would be impossible to measure the overall volume of the ocean. Tama, no? If you go to the ocean, eh, parang tingin ko, uh, even with the special tools na meron tayo ngayon, no? uh, I, th- I think you would agree with me that it would be impossible to measure the entire volume of the ocean. No? Pero what I can do is, for example, lang at this particular time, Mamari, walang pumupunta sa ocean o ako lang pumunta sa ocean. And I take a one liter bottle of water, tapos ipupur ko siya sa ocean, then I know that my ocean has changed by delta V amount, which is one liter. Tama? So that's why 
uh, kahit hindi ko alam yung total volume ni Ocean, so kung mara, hindi ko alam yung V1 and V2 or V initial and V final ni Ocean, I always know delta V because I've carefully monitored it. Ako lang, and lalo na pag maliit yung system, no, kaya kong i-isolate yung system and kaya ko sabihin na, and sa Ocean example natin, no, and kaya may caveat ako sinabi na dapat walang iba na pumunta sa Ocean, ako lang pumunta. Tapos, nagdagdag ako ng one uh, volume of a uh, one liter volume of water. So in that sense, I know that the ocean has changed by delta V equal to one liter amount. Okay? So parang ganun yung uh, sa thermodynamics din, no? Rarely tayo, in, rare, rarely if not impossible natin ma-measure yung mga uh, specific U, uh, yung internal uh, energy values. Hindi din natin ma-measure yung internal, uh, yung uh, total enthalpy, kahit yung mga other forms of Uh, state function state variables on like uh, free energy tsaka yung ano pa yung yung Gibbs free energy tsaka Helmholtz free energy hindi natin siya na measure yung total no pero what we can measure is yung delta u okay so it, it's something interesting na to, to think about no? so that's why always when we do these equations usually uh, du or delta u yung may measure natin as opposed to You know, although uh, sometimes we 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 become sloppy, no. For example, uh, minsan uh, hindi nari natin napapansin. Kunwari, ito. Uh, if you look at this, ah, ito, okay, na mapala to. Uh, if you look at this, this is uh, du na kadu siya. Pero minsan uh, parang nakakalimutan, parang ang ginagawa na lang natin is u is equal to q minus w, you know. When, when in fact, tapat delta u yung tiniting na natin para tay, and not u per se. Okay. So kung tatanungin kayo. Sometimes lumalabas to sa mga ano no mga hindi sa exams namin in general pero feel ko baka one in one of your exams or quizzes uh, in thermodynamics before siguro merong mga trick questions doon na para pinatanong sa inyo kung ano yung u u ng system tapos ang sagot is cannot be determined kasi technically you cannot determine u no you can determine delta u okay so yeah uh Okay, nasa na ba tayo? So, we have ito. So, okay na tayo dito no, sa ano, uh, delta U. So, it's uh, yung pressure volume work natin is just equal to PDV. That's why it's this term. Tapos, yung Q natin is the heat content ng system natin, which is Q, uh, Q sub P. And again, Q sub P means that uh, we are uh, measuring heat at uh, constant pressure. And kaya din, uh, ano no, Enthalpy is a better measure of uh, ano uh, as opposed to delta u because in in most systems lalo na pag hindi natin uh, in ano in encompass yung system natin in a container uh, for example if you do uh, parang normal beakers lang or or test tubes or, or for example ganyan no Kware ito yung beaker natin tapos dito yung solution natin uh, uh, sa saglit lang class ah. may pause lang ta saglit One minute Ah, uh, sagit lang. Uh, break tayo sa great class mga 5 minutes. May kailangan lao kasi kasi yung emergency no. Tapos uh, balikan balik tayo after 5 minutes.
Hello. Sorry. Ah, uh, balik na ako. Ah, uh, dito na ba kayo lahat? Nabi na sa ba? So I think wala na maatang umalis, no. So I think we can resume, no. Okay lang ba mag-resume tayo? Okay. Thank you Hazel. For the feedback kasi wala pang reply ng iba baka nag-break pala. Sige. Ah, uh, anong oras pa tayo nag Anong oras ko ba sinabi na magbe-break? Zoom tayo recording. Okay. Resume tayo tapos pa tayo kumikin. Um uh, I was talking about beakers no, tama. Ah, uh, parang ito. So in, in the real world when we are measuring the uh, or we are when we're looking at systems, usually ito yung uh, beaker natin, tapos ito yung solution. Okay, solution to. Usually naka-open lang siya, na-open system siya and Uh, we can actually say na constant pressure too because there is there is a constant atmospheric pressure dito no the, that's equal to one atmosphere so parang we can fairly say na uh, etong system na to is under constant constant pressure that's why uh, mas okay na measure natin yung uh, h nya or yung enthalpy as opposed to internal energy because we are dealing with uh, constant pressure na ano, na terms okay so balik tayo Okay, so this is uh, done under constant pressure. Therefore, yung ano natin, uh, QP natin, if, if you follow the, ano no, the, uh, the derivation here, our QP is just equal actually to delta H. No? So QP is equal to uh, ito, delta U plus PV. If you follow this uh, uh, this uh, derivation right here, magiging QP is equal to delta H, which is uh, bumalik tayo sa initial definition natin nung nasabi natin. Enthalpy is heat content, that is uh, the heat Uh, it possesses at constant pressure. No? Okay? And uh, ito, uh, like yung QV natin, uh, we can express it as CPDT. Uh, but this time, instead of CV, ang gamit natin is uh, CP. No? Where CP is, again, yung, uh, yung heat capacity niya at constant pressure. Okay? So in summary, ganito siya. Yung work done is equal to the pressure volume work na na nangyari sa system. So that's equal to uh, PDV or P times the change in volume where it becomes expansive pag final volume is greater than the initial volume tapos compressive siya pag uh, negative yung, um, yung delta V natin meaning the final volume is less than the initial volume. Okay? Then your Q here becomes uh, CPDT which is, ito CPDT is actually delta H as well. No? So Q, Q or Q sub P is equal to CPDT also equal to delta H. So yung delta U natin is just equal to Q minus W wherein yung Q natin is CPDT minus uh, PDV. Okay? Next natin, after isobaric, we have your uh, adiabatic system. So adiabatic system uh, is where Uh, ito, hindi na muna natin i-ano ito, no? uh, i-discuss itong the difference between uh, CV and CP. So, let's just look at, uh, ano no, hindi ko ma madadaan na natin ito eventually, pagka nag-ano tayo. Uh, pero, uh, uh, what is yun, is important, however, is itong relationship between CP and CV, no? So, ito, you can derive this on your own or you can look at, at certain textbooks no pero we can prove na yung uh, for ideal uh, gases no yung cp natin uh, yung difference between cp and cv uh, varies by the factor r no where r is equal to the gas constant okay so if we try to rearrange this we can actually get that uh, for monoatomic gases uh, the Itong gamma value, so this gamma here is just the uh, ratio between the uh, CP over the CV. So pag uh, monoatomic yung gases natin, we have five thirds because uh, for monoatomic gases, yung CP is equal to five halves R while CV is equal to three halves R. Tama? Because if you look at it, uh, five halves R minus R will give you three R kasi we know that this is the relationship no? Now, for diatomic gases, ang CP natin is equal to 7 halves R. So, 7 halves R minus 1 R gives us 5 halves R. So, that becomes our CV. And therefore, our gamma, and we, we will use this gamma term a lot now when we talk about uh, adiabatic processes. No? This gamma term is equal to 7 fifths 
uh, seven fifths. Okay. So let's look at adiabatic process now. Adiabatic process is a process that that does not involve heat flow. No? So kung naalala nyo yung ano natin yung discussion about uh, adiabatic systems. So pag sinabing adiabatic, it's where na hindi tayo uh, wal walang interchange of uh, of neither, neither mass nor uh, heat uh, between the surrounding and system. Okay? So, pag ganun, uh, ang ano natin, uh, ang only delta U na or only change in, in the uh, internal energy of the system will be attributed to your work. No? So, kung babalik tayo dun sa ano, babalik tayo dito. So, kung babalikan natin itong example natin dito, so parang we we assume that the, this vessel here is insulated such that wala tayong exchange of Q. So your uh, delta Q or pwede natin sabihin ganyan, no? delta Q is equal to zero. Okay? So no exchange of heat. Therefore, kung wala kang exchange of heat, ang um, only the, the delta V can only vary by uh, negative work amount of since uh, Q minus W yung ano natin. So this becomes uh, Q minus W. Uh, this is zero. Therefore, magiging negative W lang to. So this is saying na yung piston natin, itong ano, sa system natin, ito, this can move up and down. So it can change its volume. Pero uh, while it's changing volume, uh, hindi pwedeng magkaroon tayo ng exchange of heat. Okay? Um... In in real world no hindi din natin siya wala masyadong ano no parang real metallurgical systems that have this kind of ano no uh, relationship kasi in most of the time pag uh, hindi ka nag-exchange ng heat usually fixed rigid din yung ano natin yung volume so kumbaga uh, isochoric din siya at the same time no so eh hindi siya common hindi common tong ganitong uh, process no yung adiabatic process but it can still happen no uh, maybe I'm, I'm just uh cannot imagine readily kung ano yung uh, applicable metallurgical systems for this type of adiabatic process no okay tapos ah, by the way itong adiabatic process meron maraming mga ano applications dito no this is uh, applications wherein mini maintain natin yung pressure no and there are systems like that no lalo na pagka ano uh, mga uh, pressurized systems so meron tayong mini maintain na certain pressure kasi for example we want to maintain the pressure so that uh, tama yung magiging uh, parang kumari, fluid flow ng isang uh, system or mini maintain natin yung pressure because we want to maintain a certain uh, parang ratio of gases pwedeng ganun no so th those are uh, readily uh, existing na ano no real world systems so adiabatic oh, wala pa masyadong maiisip as of now no maybe i i can i can think of um, some adiabatic systems that 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 uh, that are applicable in the real world no? okay so eto siya uh, nandito tayo no so it's equal to yung uh, du natin so dito sa ano no adiabatic systems you, you probably become uh, a bit confused kasi minsan may atong d tayo tapos minsan may atong parang uh, we, we call this as a squiggly d no so um is it the right time na i-discuss ko to sige pa your body ko na i-discuss to no so we need to note the difference between an exact differential and an inexact differential no so ito na dito pala ako so let's say na ano no sa exact differential kasi usually for example u yung mga state variables natin uh, for example u no uh, if you want to take the uh, delta u ang gagawin lang natin is just take the final state final minus the initial state tama no yun yung sinasabi natin na advantage ng isang uh, state function so, sobrang dali yung calculations niya kasi delta u is, is just equal to uh, the difference between the final and initial no? Uh, but if we want to take uh, infinitesimal changes, uh, ang gagawin natin is we take d u, no? And when we use d, ang ibig sabihin na to, this is what we call an uh, an exact uh, differential. No? That's an exact differential. But we'll also encounter terms that are inexact, no? 
So, uh, ang ang exact ang ano niya, one of the key uh, uh, ano niya um, uh, properties is that if you take the integral of du, ato, nandayan pala siya. So if you take the integral of du from, for example, uh, u1 to u2, equal dapat to sa u2 minus u1. So ito yung sinasabi natin uh, state function siya, no? Or ito, u is a state variable. So this is an exact differential. If now you compute this and it's not equal, kung hindi siya magiging equal, then we call that as an inexact differential, no? And for inexact differentials, uh, sila yung tinatawag natin may, may path dependency sila. No? So we've, we've discussed na si Q and W actually is, is path dependent. No? So when we talk about uh, parang um, infinitesimal values, so for example, kung infinitesimal tayo, du, di ba pagka change in u, we just say uh, Q minus W. No? Tama, parang ganyan. If we say du, inf infinitesimal changes, then we use the uh, atong squiggly d na to no so this is uh, the inexact differential of q to note to denote that there is a uh, path dependency sa function na yan minus atong uh, inexact differential of w okay so you you'll, you'll see this a lot now which is different din sa yung ganito no uh, this symbol indicates that this is a partial differential no uh, with respect to a certain other variable. So, for example, you can have something like d over dt. Uh, okay. So, uh, yun, hopefully, na discuss to sa ano, isa sa math nyo. Hindi ko quite sure no, kung gano ka in depth yung discussion sa math. Anyway, um, if you do this, then since there is no heat flow, so Q is equal to zero, then therefore yung DU natin is equal to uh, TDV. But we 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 can also establish a sort of equivalence, no? So this is where uh, ito, itong uh, property, itong equation na to, this comes from if we try to establish uh, a, an equivalence, no? So for example, if for the same system, instead of doing a, ano, instead of doing Instead of doing uh, an adiabatic system, if we did the same um, the same changes, but this time for uh, isochoric system, then we can say, di ba sa isochoric kasi du is equal to CBDT. So, nawala yung work term. Tama? So, therefore, uh, since du is a state function, regardless kung anong path na tinake niya, du will be the same. So, for example, uh, if I can draw this, no, uh, maybe you'll understand it more if I do this. So, usually, no, class, when you have uh, ito mga, these types of problems, no, yung mga uh, various processes na, uh, for the first law, the problems, it's always helpful that you begin with a PV diagram or um, weathering uh uh, temperature volume or temperature pressure diagram pero in most cases uh, pinaka convenient ang pressure volume so you you do a pressure volume diagram no? so for example if you have state one let's call the state one tapos meron tayong uh, you have state one like that and you have state two na ganyan so regardless if i do a isochoric so if i isochoric it should be straight down no na ganyan Or if I do an uh, isochoric followed by an isobaric. No? Or if I do a uh, adiabatic or isothermal, ito, isothermal pa ito, an isothermal system, then the delta U, delta U cone and I experience will be the same. Basta it's from 1 to 2. Regardless if I take this path or if I take this uh, parang parang subsequent na paths na to. So regardless if I do delta U 1 to 2 and let's just say na meron tayong ito 1.5 to no. If I do delta U to 1 to 2 equal lang actually din siya sa delta U from 1 to 1.5 to 2 or so pwede natin break down siya no. Plus delta U of 1.5 to 2. That will be equal. 
And and uh, again, for if we do uh, this types of problem, always convenient to class. No, I drawing natin yung PV diagram na and try to look at what is happening. There. Okay, so um, dito since uh, let's just say na ano no, we, we're doing the same du para sa particular system, pero yung isa ay socoric uh, versus yung isa adiabatic. Okay, then we can establish that. Uh, yung, if we do the same, ano no, from U, let's just say UA to UB, okay? It's the same final states. So DU should be the same, no? From DU from A to B, okay. DU from A to B should be equal to DU from A to B, regardless if you take an uh, isochoric uh, path or if you take an adiabatic path. Tama? So with that said, dapat may sort of equivalence kang ma-establish. So du, if it's uh, isochoric, is equal to CVDT, then this will now be equal to uh, du if it's uh, adiabatic, which is now negative uh, PDV. Okay? Okay, does that make sense? We make sense naman, no? So that's why ito, we have this. And from here, pwede natin i, uh, i further derive pa ito, no? Ito. So, we go from uh, CVDT, plus negative PDV. Tapos, uh, we can use the ideal gas equation. So, we'll replace P with uh, equal to RT over V. And uh, this is on a per mole basis. Kaya wala na tayong nilalagay na N. Okay lang na hindi natin ilagay si N, no? So, magiging uh, negative uh, ito, RT over V, DV. So, uh, RT... Uh, yung T, pwede natin ilipat sa kabilang side kasi nandito yung DT term, no? So, we'll end with this one. Uh, CV, LN, uh, because 1 over T, if you remember your um, your ano, no? Different the, uh, derivations or integrals, uh, yung 1 over T magiging LN, uh, yung 1 over T magiging LN T yung ano niya, yung integral niya. So, that becomes CV, LN ng and we are evaluating from T1 to T2, so that's why it's T2 over T1. Tapos at the same time, ito, R is a constant, so we can move that out. And this now becomes 1 over V lang. Tama? And 1 over V is equal to LN uh, V1 over V2. Okay? Uh, kaya siya na reverse yung, um, ito from V1 to V2, dapat V2 to V1 to, di ba? Uh, V1 to V2, that, therefore, dapat V2 na yung nasa taas. Pero since gusto natin i-remove yung negative sign, kaya siya uh, naging V1 over V2 na. Now, if we simplify this even further, uh, we get, uh, if we express this in exponential form, no, T2 over T1 now becomes, uh, this now becomes T2 over T1 raised to the power of CV is equal to V1 over V2 raised to the power of R. Uh, and we can um, parang, uh, raise this all to the itong both sides. No? We raised it to the power of 1 over CV. So, kung 1 over CV siya, 1 over CV dito, magka-cancel to. So, magiging raised to the power of 1 na lang siya. Ito, magiging R over CV naman dito. Okay? Tapos, um, if we remember yung relationship between us, uh, yung CV and R, uh, di ba pag uh, CV plus uh, CV, P minus CV is equal to R then actually pwede natin itong ma-relate itong dalawa no? and, uh, and uh, expresses in terms of gamma so if you do this kunwari, i-divide natin itong CP minus CV over R divided by CV become CP over CV minus uh, 1 is equal to R over CV and we remember that CP over CV yung ratio na to is unique no? we call this as the gamma ratio uh, so gamma Pwede natin i-substitute tong gamma na to. So, gamma minus 1. So, itong CP minus CV magiging gamma minus 1 equal siya sa R over CV. So, pwede natin siyang ipalit dito. This now becomes uh, V1 uh, over V2 raised to the power of gamma minus 1. Okay? So, if it's at constant uh, pressure, then we can do we can do several uh, ano no, uh, relationships. So, for example, pressure and temperature. So, it becomes T2 over T1 raised to the power of V1 over V2 uh, raised to the power of gamma minus 1. So, ito yung relationship nila. Uh, 
you can ano no uh, substitute actually kunwari gusto mo in terms of uh, pressure and volume then you can just uh, substitute the uh, yung combined gas law na equation no diba ito yung combined gas law equation natin p1 v1 is equal to over t1 is equal to p2 v2 over t2 so kung i-combine natin siya isa substitute natin itong t2 and t1 uh, we can actually end up with something that looks like this v1 v2 raised to the power of gamma is equal to p2 over p1 okay na and actually ito yung mas mas common no kaya uh, if we re rearrange this etong si uh, etong equation na to we end up with uh, yung and i think ito yung pinaka common way of stating uh, the relationship of pressure and volume when it's an adiabatic system no ito we are saying na the p1 v1 raised to the power of gamma is equal to p2 v2 raised to the power of gamma and if you have for example p3 uh, v3 then you have p3 v3 raised to the power of gamma which implies that Uh, P times volume raised to the power of gamma is always a constant. And we'll use this term later on. No? Itong P, PV raised to the power of gamma is equal to constant. Okay? So, yan siya. And actually, pwede nyo ring yan, no? I I relate yung pressure and temperature. You you can make your own equation as well, no? So uh, I I leave it to you guys, no? Feel ko kaya nyo na siyang gawin. So just use this combined gas law. Pasok nyo lang dito. Uh, i-remove nyo yung volume term and you can relate pressure and temperature. Okay? So, this becomes, uh, ang summary niya is uh, Q equals zero. Wala tayong heat flow pagka meron tayong ano, adiabatic system. Uh, yung work done mo is equal to uh, PDV. Uh, this is equal to negative CV uh, DT. Tapos, uh, and again, ito na-establish so through equivalence, no? etong the work done you, you'll notice na bakit work is equal to negative cv eh di ba negative cv dt this is a uh, this is a uh, uh, a heat term no or a q term bakit siya equal to work so again uh, na establish kasi natin na we, we can establish equivalence no so for the same du kasi uh, for this adiabatic equation du is equal to uh, work no so or negative du is uh, du is equal to negative work therefore Uh, work is equal to negative du and for the same equivalent isochoric system that du is equal to uh, cbdt so pwede natin establish equivalence and we need this equivalence para makuha natin tong relationship na to itong pv gamma no? okay so now if we want to stop uh, if we want to compute the work total work done so this becomes uh the work is equal to pdv or uh, let me transfer sa ano natin no para mas makita nyo Let me transfer okay uh, na natin. okay uh, dito work no? so for example if we have asan pa tayo if uh, work is equal to and let's say yung ano no inexact differential na work is equal to uh, pdv tama so therefore work is equal to integral ng uh, pdv uh, from volume 1 to volume 2 parang ganyan no and since path dependent to actually hindi lang siya magiging v2 minus v1 no okay so we already said that uh, yung pressure natin is uh, is uh, uh, kung baga, we already said that uh, for adiabatic systems pv gamma is a constant no tama this is a constant so we can actually say na if we multiply uh, v gamma on uh, the numerator and the denominator then we get v1 v2 is equal to pv gamma over v gamma tama no And ito, replace natin with the constant kasi, di ba, constant to. So, uh, complete. Completoan ka muna. So, this becomes V1, V2. This becomes constant over V gamma times dV. So, the constant can move out. And palitan ko itong constant with K na lang siguro. So, we can go K, V1, V2, 1 over V gamma dV. Naman, no? And if you have that, kaya mo na siyang i-evaluate. Tama? Ito, kaya natin i-evaluate. No? 
itong si uh, K uh, V1 to V2. Um, you can do the the manual evaluation. So, for example, if you do this, this becomes uh, let me remember. This becomes V gamma negative gamma, no? So, magiging is V negative gamma. And how do you evaluate this? This becomes um, V negative gamma plus one over V negative uh, negative gamma. Tama ba? That's right. Uh, wait lang. Sorry. I, I, I'm forgetting my integrals. No? So, si paano nga mag integrate integrate kung x 2 magiging x 3 over x <laughs> sorry gamma wala tinatandaan ko yung ano ko no kung yung x cube magiging 2x a uh, 3x squared so magiging x to the ah tama 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 ah thank you Lord Enzo no? so magiging v to the negative gamma plus one over negative gamma plus one yung denominator tama no okay parang ganyan no so you can do this or ang suggestion ko instead of uh, evaluating pwedeng hanggang dito lang kayo and you use just use your calculators no? because your calculators can actually evaluate using this form already pwedeng ganyan and in fact uh, I'll also show you how to use, uh, I don't know, yung MS Mathematics 4 para ma mas solve to. Uh, unfortunately, mukhang makukulangan tayo ng time. Pero ang gagawin ko is, uh, I'll do one example. Tapos, i-continue ko lang yung recording na to. If you, if you have somewhere to be, pwedeng mag-leave na kayo ng, ng, ng session na to at 5.30. Or if you want to stay, you can stay and, and uh, pakinggan yung extension. No? Pero ako, ang gagawin ko, i-re-record ko siya para pag in-upload ko, kasama na yung example. Okay? Okay lang ba yun? Is that okay for everyone? Okay. If, okay. Okay naman. Okay? So if you have to leave, okay lang. Wal walang, walang issue. No? Uh, I'll just be recording the session. Okay? Uh, so, balik tayo dito. So, yan. And I'll show you MS Mathematics 4. No? Kasi uh, ako, I, I really like using yung MS Math 4. No? Kasi para convenient siya. And um, since naka-computer na tayo lahat, hindi ko mas madali na mag-solve using MS Math 4. No? Pero you can also use your calculators kasi most of the modern calculators ngayon nakaka-evaluate na yung, lalo na yung mga Tama tawag nila, natural display ba tawag nila? Yung may mga natural display, parang mabilis na ma-evaluate itong mga ganito. Okay? So, yung delta U natin is equal to Q minus W. Therefore, delta U is just equal to uh, the work term or pwede rin, if we establish equivalence, negative CVDT. Okay? So, therefore, delta U is equal to CVDT and delta H natin is uh, just CPDT as well. Okay? Okay? Okay, and last natin is the isothermal process. No? So in isothermal processes, and baka ito hindi ito masyadong intuitive, no? uh, pero we all learn from uh, from our previous chemistry lessons. No? Kahit sa high school, tinuro din to. And siguro, uh, I, may, I may, may not be alone on this. No? Parang so, so, for the longest time, hindi ko mag-gets kung bakit when we say isothermal process, we always say delta U is equal to zero. Which, I don't know if, if it makes sense, uh, intuitive sense, no? Tama ba? Parang, saan ba nanggaling? Bakit kung isothermal delta U is equal to zero? So, um, I, I did, uh, I studied this a lot and uh, what I found out is uh, the best way to explain this kung bakit delta U is equal to zero when you have an isothermal process is to look at, I don't know, uh, again, isothermal meaning uh, we are carrying out the process in at constant temperature. Kaya isothermal kasi one temperature lang uh, throughout the entire process. Okay? So, to imagine this, itong si isothermal process, no? Uh, we, we go back to our definitions of what temperature is. Parang, uh, ang sabi natin is uh, the temperature actually describes the um, parang I don't know, average kinetic motion of, of our systems. Tama? 
So so isa 'yun sa parang pinaka definition natin uh, sa uh, uh, sa ano no temperature. So as opposed to Q which is the total kinetic movement to. So if you look at the delta U, ang delta U is actually yung parang uh, parang if you look at the different positions ng system natin positions, movement, uh, etc. Uh, if you can define that, then you have defined your uh, your internal energy. So the the uh, if you have no change in your temperature that's like saying na um kumbaga may pumasok na heat may ginawa kang work so regardless of what you do no yung may q ka may w pero uh from state 1 to state 2 hindi nagbago yung average kinetic motion niya so kung hindi nagbago yung average kinetic motion then we can say na yung yung from state 1 to state 2 parang comparable yung magiging parang hitsura ng uh, ano natin yung yung internal na particles atoms or 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 whatever uh, measurement of 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 matter don sa particular na uh, let's talk about gases no for example gas yung average particle movement don is the same so roughly uh, we are looking at the same state so if it's the same state from state one to state two then therefore yung internal energy mo uh, did not change so magiging delta u is equal to zero, no. And later on, I think sa isa sa mga discussion dito na no, we we can uh, prove that delta u is only um is is only I don't know affected really affected by uh temperature. So if if uh, there is a temperature change, there will always be a a um is there will always be a change in uh in internal energy pero kung walang temperature change there will no there will be no changes in the internal energy okay so hopefully that, that gives you some form of uh, understanding no so kung bakit du is equal to zero when uh uh your you have an isothermal process no okay so when dt is equal to zero du becomes zero and therefore we have uh we have the equation zero uh uh, we have du is equal to zero is equal to q minus w. Therefore, we can say that q is equal to w. Tama? So that's why ito, uh, the work done is equal to the heat, which is equal to RT ln V2 over V1. So itong RT ln V2 over V1, nang, nang, uh, we derive that by uh, this equation right here. No? So we started with uh, du is equal to zero. Therefore, yung uh, inexact differential ng q is equal to the inexact differential of uh, w. No? And uh, yung w natin is uh, PdV. And uh, for one mole of gas, uh, we have, if you use the ideal gas equation, then we can um, substitute it, this with RT over V. No? So notice class now, we always, I don't know, uh, Lalo na pag may mga dv, if we want to evaluate this, we can't evaluate dv if we do not have a v term. Tama? Kasi kung walang v, paano mo may evaluate itong term na to? Okay? So, uh, eh, kung magubaga, paano mo may integrate yung dv kung walang uh, v term? Okay? So, that's why isa substitute natin si p with rt over v. So, we have rt over v right here. Now, if we integrate this, r is a constant. P is also a constant because di ba, isothermal process to eh. We are doing at constant temperature. Therefore, itong RT, pwede siyang lumabas lang. So, it becomes RT, integral of 1 over V. Parang ganito. Eto. W is equal to Q is equal to RT over V. And we can uh, move the RT term outside of the integral. So, this now becomes integral of 1 over V dV. And uh, as we uh, stated earlier, no, sabi natin kanina, pag 1 over V, integral ng 1 over V is just ln V. So if you evaluate it from volume 1 to volume 2, this now becomes RT ln v, V2 over V1. Or kung po, ipapalit natin itong V2 and V1 in terms of uh, pressure, then we can also have RT is equal to ln P1 over P2. And in this case, if you follow lang natin yung ideal gas law, this is, I always forget this, no? Isa to sa either Charles or Boyle's law. Isa sa kanila. So, uh, ito, uh, pwede natin i-substitute and we can, uh, lalo na pag, uh, mara, yung system nyo, uh, yung given uh, parameters is in terms of P1 uh, and P2, then mas madali natin evaluate kung itong P1 over P2 as opposed to V2 over V1 para hindi na tayo dumaan dito. Okay? So, in summary, 
delta u is equal to zero. So again, wag isothermal process, du or delta u will be equal to zero. And because delta u is equal to zero, q is equal to w. And this w right here can be uh, solved using ito, uh, RT ln V2 over V1 or in terms of uh, pressures by doing RT ln P1 over P2. And that uh, gives us ending magiging delta H natin is equal to zero uh, because uh, ano ko ba yan to? Uh, magiging zero siya because uh, delta H is equal to du plus PDV plus uh, uh, VDP, no? So, um, yung PDV and VDP term dito uh, magiging uh, in in an interna, in an isothermal system, no? will be parang will negate each other lang. So, magiging uh, negative of each other lang to. Okay? So, meron siyang pressure. May change in uh, pressure siya at may change in volume siya. Pero uh, the change in volume, yung PDV work na, na, na ano dito, is equal to the VDP na term dito. Okay? So, yung PDV term, uh, equal lang siya and oppositely signed sa VDP, VDP term. Okay, so kaya yung dh natin is also uh, equal to zero uh, eh, when, it, when, we, when it comes to uh, ano, no, isothermal processes. And siguro uh, a more, baka nal, nalito kayo doon no, sa, sa yung sinabi ko about PDV and VDP. Pwede rin isipin natin siya in terms of, ano, no, uh, if we can think about it in terms of CPDT. So we know that uh, delta H is equal to CPDT. Tama? This is one of the, the, the definitions as well. But, but this is um, CP, where in CP is the uh, parang um, heat capacity at constant pressure. No? So if you think about it, kung delta T mo is equal to zero, dahil uh, isothermal uh, conditions ka, this is equal to zero, then delta H is equal to zero as well. So, yan yung parang in, in, in equation form, mas madali siguro maintindihan to no? pag pinalit lang natin ng ganito. Okay, so that's why delta H will also be equal to zero for uh, isothermic processes. No? Okay? And by, hindi ko alam kung na-discuss na ko to. Whenever we are evaluating the uh, the total differential of a certain, ano no, lalo na pagka two, two variables ha, like this, PV, and siguro, ah, sorry, nasa powerpoint pala ko no ay nasa ano so whenever you have something like ganito class no pare nag ano tayo dpv and this will make come a lot ito si dpv ganito you always uh state it this way no so magiging pdv siya plus vdp i forgot what ano anong rule to chain rule ba to baka hindi siya chain rule basta may mathematical na ano to basis at uh, sa sa ano natin no sa calculus natin may, may tawag dito so for example if you also look at um, let's just say you look at the change in volume no and if you're given thickness and uh di ba volume is just equal to area times uh let's say kung ito siya this is the the area times yung thickness kunwari ito ay thickness no this is uh, thickness then we can say the volume is equal to uh, v is equal to 80 but uh, we if we want to get the uh, derivative of volume then to get the full differential niya magiging siyang uh, a multiplied by adt plus uh, tda so yeah so so baka nagtaka kayo kung saan nanggaling tong ano no uh, pdv and vdps so always ganito yung ginagawa natin if we want to get the full differential no? so uh, this will come out a lot no lalo na pag nag when we talk about ano no uh, mga derivation of different formulas dito sa uh, dito sa met 17 itong parang form na to and even sa ano natin sa higher majors minsan na nag kinakalculate natin to okay so with that i think uh 7 30, uh, 5 30 na those who want to leave or those who have to be somewhere else pwede naman kayong mag leave if you want to stay uh, i'll do one uh, ano no one calculation for you guys 
uh, let's do the sample problems and by the way uh, yung homework pala na nakasulat dun sa ano it's it's uh, it's a ano lang no it's not recorded you you don't need to submit it it's just there so that you can practice no it's a uh, practice on your own pero dito sa synchronous session na to uh, let's try to answer one of those uh, questions okay so let's do this uh, particular homework no? and let me copy this So, this is an interesting problem, no? Okay, so ito yung problem natin. So, lipat lang natin to. Okay, so meron na tayong 10 moles of ideal gas. In the initial state uh, P1, uh, P1 is equal to 10 atmospheres, uh, T1 is equal to 300 Kelvin, so roughly around ano, no, uh, room temperature. Uh, this is in Kelvin, ah, hindi siya naka degree Celsius. Uh, and are taken around the following cycle. No? So, uh, kumbaga, this is cyclic to na, na type of process. No? So, first you do a reversible change of state along a straight line path on the PV diagram uh, to the state P1 is equal to one atmosphere, T uh, is equal to 300 Kelvin, okay? And then next, after that straight uh, straight line path, uh, you do a reversible na isobaric compression uh, to V is equal to 24.6 liters. And lastly, you do a reversible constant volume process uh, to 10 atmospheres. Tapos ang gagawin daw natin is imomonitor natin in all uh, states. no. So from state A to state B to state C, imomonitor natin yung change in heat, work, and internal energy for each of the processes. Okay? And let's express all our answers in kilojoules. No? So ang R na gagamitin natin is yung 8.314 kilojoules per mole. Okay, so let's do. Uh, let's uh, again, para sa mga ganitong problems, it's always convenient that we draw the PV diagram. No? So P, V. Okay, so we start with ang uh, sabi daw, pressure P1. Starting point natin is uh, P1 is equal to 10 atmospheres. So let's do 10 atmospheres. 10 atmospheres and a temperature of uh, 300 Kelvin. So, uh, we need to convert uh, 300 Kelvin or kailan natin mahanap yung volume uh, for this particular system. No? So, to find the volume, we just do uh, PV is equal to NRT. We have 10 moles of ideal gas. So, we have 10 uh, moles. Uh, R natin is 8.314. Temperature natin is at 300 Kelvin. And we have pressure, so we can find volume. So volume lang actually yung unknown term dito. No? So pressure is 10 atmospheres. So can somebody compute this for me? Actually, mas madali kung ang gawin ko is liter atmosphere na lang no? para ang lalabas dito is in terms of liters. Tama ba? Nag-agree ba kayo? So those of state, mas madali yun, no? So naalala nyo ba yung liter atmosphere na ano? It's 0.0821. That is in terms of liter atmosphere. So that's liter atmospheres per mole Kelvin. Okay? And i-double check ko lang no kung tama kasi baka mali yung ano ko gas constant natin. Uh, oh. Gas constant natin, 0 0.08 to what? 205 pala yung mas common. Pero I like to use 0 0.08 to 1. Okay? So that's correct. So, gagawin natin is we can find the amount of liters, no? So this cancels out. So we just have 0 0.0821 multiplied by 300. And if you do the calculations, uh, 0 0.0821 multiplied by 
uh, 300 gives me 24.63. Uh, let's just use 24.6 no kasi uh, if you notice ito at uh, 24.16 dito no. So it's it's convenient na gawin natin siyang ano 24.6 as well. Okay? So we have 24.6 no. So ito 24.6 liters, we can now begin to plot it. No? So, the initial state natin is pressure at 10 atmospheres. So, let's just stay ito yung 10. And 24.6. Uh, lagay lang natin siya dito. So, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, so hindi ko alam pa. So, let's just say dito siya. Bababa pa to. Straight na pa. Sige. So, 24.6 liters. So, dito yung state 1 natin. Okay? So, the first path daw, itong path A, is a reversible change of state along a straight line path uh, moving to state 2, which is uh, 1 atmosphere and 300 Kelvin naman. Uh, 1 atmosphere and uh, 300 Kelvin. So, pag ganun, Kailangan natin compute muna yung P2, no? Uh, no, sorry. P V2. So, we need to compute for V2. And V2 is equal to, gagamitin natin yung ideal gas equation ulit. No? So, we have N. Uh, that's 10 moles. So, 10 times R, 0 0.0821. Tapos, uh, same temperature. Hindi tayo nagbago, no? Same temperature tayo. That's 300. Pero, uh, we, instead of uh, one atmo uh, 10 atmospheres, we have one atmosphere siya. So, bumaba actually yung pressure, no? Which, if, if, if by intuition, if bumaba yung uh, volume mo, or bumaba yung pressure mo, dapat mag increase yung volume, no? So, this is actually mag 10 times this one. So, this is actually 246 liters yung sagot. So, parang mas appropriate ko, kasi ayoko gawin yung ano, no? Gagawin ko na lang dito siya. 24.6, and I'll do... 246 here. Okay. So, this is somewhere done. Tapos, uh, it moves uh, towards this uh, point right here. And let's call this one atmosphere dito. Okay. Ito in uh, atmosphere to. Ito in liters. Para malino. No? And sabi daw, it moves in a straight uh, path. No? So, ito. Straight line path daw. Which is technically impossible ito, no? Itong straight line path na to hindi ito nangyayari. Kasi if you want to move from A to B, uh, a path you can take is actually what we call an isothermal path, no? So if you take an isothermal path, this is actually the isothermal path. Uh, itong isothermal path na to, this is T is equal to 300 Kelvin. Okay? So notice that they are at the same temperature, no? So kung same temperature ka, you can actually draw isothermal paths like this. Okay? So, for example, if you draw, kunwari lang, meron tayong an intermediate uh, na, na volume dito, something like, uh, let's just say 100, uh, random na 102, kunwari. If I do 102, and I follow this uh, ano, isothermal path, then I can actually determine as well kung ano yung magiging temperature niya. Uh, ano yung magiging resulting pressure dito. Okay? So, is isa yan sa properties ng isothermal paths, no? Okay? Later, ma makikita natin kung paano tayo tumatawid ng mga isotherms. No? So, we call this as an isotherm. This isotherm is for 300 Kelvin. Uh, for, for this particular uh, example, hindi naman kailangan yung isotherm. No? But, but I'm just showing na ito dapat yung possible path na makuha niya. Uh, but uh, dito sa problem na to, parang it's a straight line path daw, which I believe is impossible. No? Hindi, wala namang ganitong process. No? Tapos, we do a reversible, next dyan is we do a reversible isobaric compression to volume equals 24.6. Okay? So, it's an isobaric compression, meaning kung isobaric at constant pressure siya. So, we're already at uh, one atmosphere. So, if we do isobaric compression, uh, by the way, ito, hindi, hindi naman ito yung ano, no, nasa handouts kasi baka inuulit ko lang. Let me double check. 
sa handouts. Sa... Okay, magkaiba naman yung binigay na problem. Okay, so ito. If we move to the right, uh, to the left, I mean, then we reach at 24.6, no? Which is conveniently siya din yung state 1. Okay? So this is the next uh, process. So we go, let's call this B. Nandito siya. So uh, since isobaric siya, then it's just a horizontal line, no? So wala kang movement sa, sa pressure line, no? So walang change sa pressure line. Okay? Uh, by the way, thank you, John. No? Nag-comment ka pala kung ano yung tamang sagot. <coughs> Okay, so ito, na uh, this is our uh, B. Tapos, ang next natin is a reversible constant volume process to pressure equals 10 atmosphere, which is actually our initial temperature. No? So ito, ito yung cyclic cycle na sinasabi niya na loop. No? So we can do uh, a reversible change in the state. Uh, wait, sorry. Constant volume. So if it's constant volume, it's an isochoric process. And for isochoric processes, uh, it's just a vertical line. No, patas na ganyan. And let's do a different color. Uh, it's teal. Yeah. So this is our process C. So yan. Yan yung itsura ng ano natin. No? Um, parang itong cyclic process na to. Uh, then, ang, ang problem is that we want to monitor kung ano yung change in heat work internal energy so let's do a table no so we can do something like q w enough way space natin enough naman siguro and delta u uh, so let's do process a muna so process a q natin is equal to um this is the this is a, a straight path no along PV. So, uh, Fiko, mas madali kung compute muna natin yung uh, work done. No? So, the work done, we can do delta PV. No? So, we can do something like this, delta PV. And since given yung P1, V1, oh, sorry. I know. Medyo mahirap to kasi straight line path kasi ito. No? Uh, balikan natin itong uh, A. No? Unahin muna natin itong C, B. So, uh, we do a reversible compression, isobaric compression. So, if it's isobaric, then uh, we have no work done. No? So, work is equal to zero. Yung Q natin is equal to C, P, D, T. Tama? And sinabi ba kung anong type of ano to? Ah, sinabi yung uh, binigay yung ito no? 1.5R uh, daw yung CV niya which means that CP is equal to uh, plus 1R. This gives us 2.5R. Diba? Kasi naalala yung relationship CV plus R is equal to um, uh, is equal to CP. Okay? So ito so, this becomes CPDT. Uh, tapos, yung delta U natin is just as well CPDT. No? So, if we compute that, that becomes 2.5. And let's use 8.314 para uh, makocompute natin is, uh, ang makocompute natin dito is equal to uh, uh, the, in terms of kilojoules. No? So, delta T natin is we're moving from, ano no? Yung delta T natin, actually, gumalaw siya, di ba? Tama? Uh, we moved from this 246 to this uh, isotherm right here. So, if we were to draw it, this is actually, di ba, parang sinabi ko kanina na pwede tayong tumawid ng mga isotherm. So, if this were the isotherm for 300, and actually, this is a different isotherm right here. Okay, so yan yung graphical representation ng isotherms ato. And if we want to compute this, eh, sige, label natin pala, no? Hindi tayo malito. So this is state 1, we have state 2, and state 3. So we need to compute for uh, the T3 as well, no? 
Tama? The temperature at T3 para makompute natin yung CP, uh, CPDT. So T3 is equal to, we can just use uh, the, we are given, uh, kaya uh, na-compute na natin yung pressure and volume dito, then actually pwede natin i-compute. You can do, ano no, uh, you can do P1, V1 is equal to P2, V2. Ano, sorry. Uh, T, T pala yung hinahanap natin. So, we can do P1 over T1 is equal to P3 over T3. Tama? We can do this. Or pwede rin i-solve nyo lang P3, uh, V3 is equal to N, R, T3. Pwede din naman. So, you can do either way. No? It should give you the same uh, equation. And kung meron sa inyo na gustong isolve siya, uh, uh, can you solve it with me para ma-double check ko lang kung tama yung sagot ko rin. No? So, I'll use this method. No? P1, T1 over T2, T3. Uh, so, you, if P1 natin, P1 natin is 1. So, this is uh, this is uh, 1 and 300 tapos sa P3 ay 1 din siya so I can't actually use this no? uh, yung volume na lang palang gagamitin ko so if it's volume uh, volume it's V1 T1 is equal to V3 T3 tama So, yung volume natin is from 246. So, we started at, actually, pwedeng from V2. V2 pala. So, we started at V2 is 246. Tapos, V3 is 24.6. And, uh, eto, our T2 is at 300 Kelvin. So, yung magiging ano niya, let me make sense pa to. Uh, this now becomes over 10 lang, no? 30 Kelvin. Ano, masyado mababa, pero sige. Pwede naman siguro. 246 divided by 300. Tapos 24.6. Ay. Ay, hindi pala, sorry. Point six times three hundred divided by thirty. Dapat tama ba thirty? Thirty. No, thirty dapat to. So T three is equal to thirty. Tama ba thirty din na na solve yung? So para mangyari dito is This is T equals 13 isotherm. 29.96. Okay lang yun. Nag-ground nag, nag, nag off kasi ako, uh, Joanna. No? So, 30, 30 is good enough. Thank you, Joanna. Ah. Okay, that's good. Uh, so, ito siya. This is the isotherm na 300. Uh, thank you din uh, John no, for computing as well. So, ito, so meron na tayong ano, no, uh, T3. Therefore, kaya natin ma-solve to. So we already have, uh, di ba, ito siya. Uh, this is moving from state 2 to state 3. So ang delta niya is 300. Ano, final is 30 minus 300. Tama? And this is important, no? i-keep natin yung signs natin. Okay, so this becomes, let's compute, 2.5. Multiplied by, eh, mukha mas madali kung kukunin ko yung physical calculator ko, which is na. Compute this. Uh, we have, and you can do this with me, guys, no? Times 8.314 times 30 minus 300. It should give me negative 5.61. Point sixty one kilojoules. So generate pala. So hopefully you also got this five point sixty one kilojoules. No? Okay. Now uh, the work done is again zero, and therefore delta u is just equal to negative five point sixty one 
kilojoules. Let's do C. C is equal to... And by the way, class, kaya ko hindi siya maano, no? Po ng negative Q. Uh, negative Q just means that you are... Uh, this is an uh, exothermic process, no? So meaning you are releasing heat so from the the uh, the the heat is moving out of the system kumbaga so in a way lumalamig yung system mo and that is one of the uh, eh, okay, sorry it's oh, tama na nagmo-move out of the system yung ano yep yep kaya siya nagde-decrease yung temperature ng system natin so yun exothermic <laughs> nalilito tuloy ako endothermic and exothermic Exothermic is when you release it. Tama, tama naman. Okay, so uh, if this is your system, uh, Q is moving out. Okay, so kaya siya negative. Negative yung Q natin. Okay, tapos yung sa C natin, let's look at the process C. No? Process C is uh, moving upwards. No, So, uh, you have yung C natin dyan is equal, uh, Q natin is equal to CV dt, no? So, ang CV natin is 1.5 R, 314. Uh, dt natin is moving from the same, uh, actually, same yung tinawid niyang isotherm, no? From 30 to 300. So, we can do 30 minus 300 again. Okay? So, compute natin siya. So, instead of using uh, 2.5, yung gagamitin natin is 1.51. Okay. So we have negative 300, uh, I'll run this negative 3.37 kilojoules. Okay. Sha. Tapos yung um, work, work dito. The work done is equal to a pressure volume na work, no? Tama? Ay, hindi. Sorry. Oh, sorry, 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 class. Ito pala sa constant, sa isobaric process, hindi zero yung work, no? Dito pala yung zero yung work. Tama? So, ito, actually, meron siyang uh, PV na work, no? PDV. So, it's, uh, it's moving from a pressure of one atmosphere. So, it's done at constant... Uh, pressure, no? Kasi moving from left to right tayo uh, and at one atmosphere. So, constant pressure siya. And uh, we are moving from uh, a higher uh, kumbaga compressive na type of pressure volume work to. So, this becomes uh, dV. Ah, no, sorry. This becomes PdV. Parang ganyan. So, if we integrate this, this just becomes V2 minus V1, no? So, work now is equal to 1 times uh, final volume is this 24.6 right here and initial volume is 20, 246. Okay? So, if we calculate that, that's 24.6 minus uh, 246. So, that gives us a negative 221. But uh, take note, this is in liter atmospheres to class no? so we convert pa natin to 221.4 liter atmospheres so that's uh, multiply it by 8.314 over 0 0.0821 no? which gives you tama kasi this is uh, you can actually use the gas constants to convert no if uh, you, you can search it kung ano yung conversion factor nila but, but if you can't remember pwedeng gas constants yung gagamitin mo kasi di ba ito liter atmospheres per mole kelvin Kasi ito, eh, kilojoules per mole kelvin. Ah, joules. Tama ba? Wait. Nalito tuloy ako. Is it joules? Naka-joules na ba itong ano? Let me check last. No? 3 and 4. Actually, naka-kilojoules pala siya. Eight point three one four. Oh, no, sorry. Ah, joules, sorry. Tama, tama, tama yung sinabi ko. It's 8.314 joules per mole Kelvin siya. Okay? So, this is uh, 
naka Joel's to. Joel's per mall Kelvin. Therefore, magka-cancel lang yung mall Kelvin, no? So, magiging Joel's over liter atmosphere. So, magka-cancel to. Giving you Joel's. Tama? So, let's do that. Uh, compute natin. Negative 221.4 liter atmospheres multiplied by 8.314 over 0.0821 gives us negative 22.42 uh, kilojoules. Okay. So yung ano dito, uh, this now becomes ito, negative 3.37 lang to, no? Pero this time, ito, um, this is actually Q minus W siya, no? So, ito, uh, this becomes negative 5.61 plus 22.42, no? Or minus negative. Tapos, let's see if it makes sense, no? Diba sabi natin, pag work is done on the system, dapat yung overall delta U mo, delta U should increase. Tapos, uh, negative, minus negative, positive, nag-increase naman. So, yun, nag-make sense. Okay? So, 5.61, ah, sorry, negative 5.61 plus 22.42 gives us 49.81. Uh, uh, this gives us 49.81 kilojoules. No? Okay? So, itong straight line path yung medyo mahirap, no? Kasi, if you look at the straight line path, um, how do you explain this? Ito kasing straight line path. Again, di ba sabi natin path dependent kasi yung um, yung Q and W natin. So, and this does not describe any of the uh, process, no? So, hindi kasi siya isothermal, hindi rin siya adiabatic. Uh, because an isothermal should follow this path. Adiabatic is when you cross isotherm. So you can actually, um, et, ito yung mga distinctions last, no? when you uh, look at uh, pressure volume na diagrams, usually if it's an isothermal process, it will follow an isotherm na ganito. So constant isotherms. If it's an adiabatic process, it will actually cross uh, isotherm. So parang ganito yung, ano niya, yung path. Uh, let me draw somewhere dito na lang. Parang ganyan yung itsura ng isang uh, adiabatic process. So if you have two isotherms, an adiabatic process will actually cross those isotherms. So parang ganyan siya. Okay? So kaya malalaman mo agad na ana uh, adiabatic siya. Tapos pagka isochoric naman siya, isochoric will just be a straight vertical line. Tapos pag isobaric naman, it's a straight na horizontal line. So this uh, process right here, is actually uh, none of the three processes no kasi it's a straight line path uh, from from ano no uh, from etong state 1 to state 2 so we can evaluate for the delta u so we can probably evaluate delta u first and i'm not sure if you can evaluate q and w for this particular case no i don't I think we can kasi uh, we'll probably use some uh, technique dito, no? Parang we, we can measure the area under the curve. Uh, because uh, this is uh, this is a pressure volume diagram class, no? So actually, if you measure the area under its curve, what ito? If you measure this area right here, this is actually the amount of... Uh, pressure and uh, this is actually the work done in terms of pressure and volume. Okay? So, uh, let's compute that. No? So, yung work done natin is equal to um, this is, I don't know, this is just a triangle. So, we can do uh, this is it's it's BH over 2. Yun yung area ng triangle. No? BH over 2 plus I, dadagdag natin to. So, yung B base natin is itong 246 minus 24.6. So, that's base. Uh, times height is, what is this height? Uh, 10 minus 1. No? Tama? 10 minus 1. 
uh, over 2. Tama? So, let's compute that. 246 minus... And you can confirm this as well, class. No? Kasi if you look at this, ito, just try to look at this. Ano. This is a pressure volume work. Tama? If you look at it, it's one atmosphere. Kasi ito yung height niya. Height niya is equal to 1. The base niya, uh, uh, let's call it length niya, is equal to um, 246 minus 24.6. Tama? This is area under the curve ng itong from state 2 to state 3. The area under the curve dito, itong PV work niya, is just equal to uh, 246 minus 24.6 times height equals 1. Uh, and that will be the pressure volume work. And notice dito, that's exactly what we did, no? 1, the height times the base. Tama? So you can actually do a graphical approach as well no? Pag, uh, when you're computing for this. Pero siyempre, kung wari, naka-curve na siya, if you have an isothermal, uh, parang mahirap makuha tong area na to. Kasi it's a curve. No? Pero since ito, uh, uh, triangles lang naman to, we can compute it. No? So uh, compute muna natin yung first, 24.6 minus 24.6 times 9 gives us uh, 199 ah, sorry uh, 1.99 this is 199 ah, sorry 1.99 liter atmospheres pa lang to no so mamaya natin ko convert liter atmospheres pa lang to pero pero this is for the triangle pa lang no ito pa lang siya ito so, kailangan natin i-add pa tong dito. Which is, coincidentally, siya lang din yung uh, nandito. Tama? Ah, no, sorry. Ito. 221.4. So, we can add that those two, no? So, plus... Ano so? Ba bakit ko inano to? Dapat 19992. Plus 21993. Tapos... Um... Ah, saglit lang class ha, kasi mukhang uh, pause 2 minutes kasi dumating yung kapatid ko walang magbubukas sa Saglit lang class, sorry. Eh, but if you have to go, pwede naman mag-disconnect kayo. Pero if you if you want to stay, and hopefully some of you might stay, please stay around. Ha. Okay, nandito na ulit ako. Okay, so sana tayo, no? Nakumpute na natin yung triangle part. Tapos kailangan lang natin idagdag itong, itong rectangle part na to. Which is equal to... Ano ba ito? Uh, 221.4. So we can add this, no? Plus 221.4 gives us... So let's add that, no? 2 to 1.4 gives us 200 2 to 1.4 same ba tayo na nakuha? liter atmospheres oh, ito ba't parang same lang yung values na okay 1.4 Two one nine two plus two two one point four. Two two one four. Okay, correct. Now then, let's convert this again to uh, kilojoules. No, so we have two two one four. Convert it to kilojoules gives us eight point three one four over 
224. So this gives us a total of 224.2 kilojoules. Okay, and this is um, this is compressive work now. Because if you look at it, uh, no, no, sorry, expansive work, sha, nama. So if it's expansive work, dapat negative to. Okay, so that's negative 224.2 kilojoules. Okay, so does it have heat? I don't think uh, meron tong heat, no? Reversible state change in path. Wala tong heat involved. So this is purely a pressure volume type of work, no? So if we compute that, dapat... I know, sorry. Tama ba yung mga na-compute natin lahat? Because uh, this should add up. No? Because since uh, this is a state function, no? and we started with 1 and we end up again at 1, dapat ang total delta u natin, if we add delta u, uh, this is one way to check it class no if we check delta u um, and this is a circular path no or parang cyclic path siya, this should be equal to zero which entails that delta u a plus delta u b plus delta u c will be equal to zero pag pinad natin siya okay meron ba akong maling na calculate so it's eh, din double check lang class no kung meron tayong maling na calculate na value. Kasi medyo mataas siya eh. Masyado kasi mataas itong 224 kilojoules. Uh, let me double check my values last na. Wait lang. Minus 24.6 times 9. 1992.1 Ah, okay. Hindi ko na divide by 2. Kaya pala. So, I forgot to divide this by 2. So, this should be just 996.3 kasi BH over 2 nga pala. So, gives us plus 221.4 multiplied by 8.314 Divided by 0 0.0821. Gives us uh, 123.34 lang. So this is uh, negative 123.34. Okay. Pero it's nowhere near, I don't know. I, sabihin nyo class, no? Uh, my question si Enzo, no? Kung walang notion na straight path siya, dapat isothermal. Yes, dapat isothermal calculations yung gagawin natin dito. No? If sinabi lang um, it's or, or uh, given this condition, no, kung pag sinabi niyang it's a reversible change of state along a path from uh, the initial path towards this P2 equals 1 atmosphere and T2 equals 300 Kelvin which is the same temperature. no? Then we can say isothermal path dapat siya. Okay? So since, pero dito kasi, sinabi kasi, specifically sinabi niya na straight line path siya. So that's why we have to honor this straight line path here. So hindi natin pinafollow yung isotherm dapat na parang ganito na curve, no? Okay? Um, so uh, eto class, no? Uh, kailangan ko i-double check yung mga values ko. I-continue ko lang recording, pero right now, baka kailangan ko mag-isipan to ng, ng a few minutes, no? So I think uh, maybe we can end the session here for now. Uh, pero i-append ko na lang yung, yung final solution nito to this video para once I upload it, um, um, meron na kayong, I don't know, kung kumbaga nandito na yung final answer. So, okay lang ba yun? Uh, for those who, who stayed, no? and thank you, uh, by the way, no for those who, who were gracious enough to stay. 
Uh, Hayes, shout out kay Hazel, Joanna, John, Rod, and Lorenzo for staying. Okay, I've triple checked and mukhang alam ko na kung saan tayo nagkamali, no? So, uh, you remember I mentioned sa uh, ano, no, na we must be careful when we are computing for yung mga different na uh, itong thermodynamic values na to, yung Q, W, and delta U because sometimes it's on a per mole basis and sometimes it's it's uh, the actual uh, joules or calories itself, no? So, dito, what we forgot to mention was, ito, kakadagdag ko lang ito, no? Uh, dapat, uh, ito na solve kasi natin is actually per mole to. Tama? Kasi CPDT lang yung ginamit natin kanina. Eh. So, actually, ito, uh, per mole, dapat yung sagot dito. Okay? So, since per mole siya, kailangan pa natin i-multiply by the number of moles, which is 10 moles. Yun yung given sa problem, no? If you look at the problem, 10 moles of the ideal gas was was uh, uh is 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 being used now. So dito we multiply it by 10 moles and this makes a lot more sense now. No? This becomes 55. Point, uh, sorry, this becomes now 56.1 kilojoules or pwede rin dito natin ilagay no uh, to indicate na 10 moles siya. Uh tapos lagay din natin siya dito, 10 moles. So times 10 din dapat to. So let's just erase this. We have 56.1 Kasi ito, this is uh, times 10 moles, gives us 33.7 kilojoules. Tapos negative ata yung unang sagot. And by the way, may na-discover din ako mali dito. No? Kasi yung ginawa ko 30 minus 300. Uh, but if you look at it, uh, the final state is 300. And initial natin is yung 30. So we're moving from t T30 papunta sa t equals 300. Tama? So, dapat ito, for this, uh, itong uh, path C na to, this should be 300 minus 30. Tama? So, that should give me now uh, positive, dapat siya. Positive 33.7 kilojoules. Okay? So, if I do that, I should get uh, yung delta U ko. I have 0. So, delta U equals Q minus W uh, W is 0 so delta U ko lang is equal to 33.7 kilojoules okay this is my delta U Del work ko dito box ko lang sorry, box ko lang din siya for final answer, tapos dito we've computed this wala naman tayo problema dito tapos compute lang natin yung um yung final answer dito no? and let's check it oh wait sorry path C tama ba? 30 to 300 no? tama naman tapos yung path B yung uh, 300 to 30 okay so kaya dito 300 minus 30 30 minus 300 okay Makes sense. So, ito, add natin, no? So, we have delta U is equal to, and lagay ko lang C to, and let's laga, uh, let's place B to. Okay? To indicate na path B to. Q minus W. Q here is negative 56.1 uh, minus negative 22.42 gives us we compute this that's 56.1 2.4 gives us uh, round off ko lang din 33 negative 33.7 kilojoules okay okay actually magka cancel out siya no and later uh, makikita nyo na this is relevant no so dito tayo na confused no sa itong straight path line natin we computed the the, the, the work done kasi si work done uh, will be just the area under the curve no yun yung parang work done nya ganito natin siya kinompute diba and that's the work done and eto we were uh, uh, kanina I was stumped no kasi parang since this is not uh, this is a uh, I don't know a unique process straight line path siya it's not actually any of the four processes we've mentioned hindi siya 
hindi siya kumbaga isobaric, hindi siya isochoric, hindi siya idiabatic, nor is it isothermal. No? Tama? So, uh, parang uh, it's difficult to tell kung ano yung magiging Q niya. Pero uh, I've, I've, I've reviewed my notes and 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 if you th- if you think about it, ito pala we we can compute actually the delta u no because we remember that delta u is a state function tama so regardless kung ano yung kung ano yung uh, path na i-take niya kung whether it's it's this uh etong isothermal path whether it's uh, isochoric then isobaric or whether it's this this weird na parang if i could call it that no weird na na straight line path then uh, it doesn't really matter no as long as i start from 1 and end at 2 i should get the same uh, delta u tama so if you look at it yung delta u na to from 1 to 2 and uh, from if i follow the isothermal path 1 to 2 same lang no and for isothermal paths we remember that delta u is equal to 0 so therefore delta u nito is also equal to 0 tama makes sense no and pwede natin i-argue that way no na parang since eto regardless of kung kukunin ko tong isothermal path na to from 1 to 2 or kung kukunin ko tong uh, straight line path 1 to 2 dapat delta u is equal to 0 and i know for isothermal path path uh, based sa uh, the definition natin kanina isothermal paths have delta u equal to 0 so i can do that argument no? or pwede rin i can uh, argue that diba, for any delta u uh, for any path, pwede ko actually maka, pwede ako maghanap ng parang equivalent path that is an isochoric process. An isochoric process always has delta u equals CVDT because isochoric yung work done is equal to zero. No? So if that's the case, no, if I can find an, an isochoric path, an equivalent isochoric path, delta u equals CVDT, and if you look at the initial and final, initial state niya 1, 300, uh, tapos ang final state niya is also 300 kelvin therefore ito is equal to 0 which gives me again delta u is equal to 0 okay so uh, yung state uh, dahil sa pwede na take, take advantage yung state function na to no delta u will always be equal to uh, uh, for for this particular case na to straight line path na to delta u is equal to 0 pero uh, that's not to say na delta u will always be equal to 0 sa I don't know, sa straight line path na to. Kasi if you think about it, if you end here, kunwari, this uh, pa- uh, point right here has a different T, no? Actually, hindi T equals 300 to. It will be a different uh, T value if we draw another isotherm. Parang paganyan, kunwari. That is the T value. So, it's a T value that is greater than 300. Okay? Parang ganyan yung isipin. So, uh, technically, this is a straight line path. If you think about it, ito si 1, it has 300, tapos iba yung temperature dito, iba dito, iba dyan, iba dyan. So, constantly changing yung temperature na, no? Meaning, um, iba-iba yung temperature na na-experience niya along the straight line path. And, nung dumating na siya sa, uh, itong number 2, nag-intersect siya with the isotherm. Kaya, yung final na temperature niya is the same temperature which uh, it began with. Okay? Pero kung gusto nyo i-drawing talaga lahat ng isotherms, magaganyan kayo. Isotherm 1, isotherm 2, yan. So on and so forth. Para ganun. No? Para kung gusto natin ma-determine lahat ng temperature along this. Pero th- that's beside the point. Ano? The point lang is, we have determined, uh, we can determine the delta U of uh, of this particular na ano, no? straight line path from 1 to 2. Okay, so if delta U is equal to 0 dito, then uh, we can do, ano din no? Uh, if delta u is equal to 0 then we can do uh, delta u equals 0 equals q minus w therefore q is equal to w Tama? so whatever nakuha natin dito will be our q as well 123.34 okay and by the way uh, malito na dapat positive na no kasi diba this is work done by system Tama? kasi this is expansion work uh, and diba pag expansion work work is being done by the system onto the surroundings and therefore uh, positive siya by our convention kasi Q minus W yung gamit natin no? by our convention uh, dapat uh, work is positive so dapat positive to dito and um, siguro minsan uh, nagkakamali yung students no? kasi 
uh, this becomes confusing minsan no, kung minus ba or positive pero ang 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 goal lang natin is dapat talaga uh, yung contribution niya to the w uh, to the delta u should be negative no kaya siguro na nilagay ko negative kanina kasi sabi ko negative yung contribution niya pero uh, by our convention no kung q minus w gamit this should be positive pero kung q plus w ang gamit natin this becomes negative no okay tapos kung q plus w gamit natin uh, then delta u is equal to q plus w equals zero this becomes q is equal to negative w and notice how regardless of convention yung q hindi nagbabago no positive pa rin siya tama kung kunwari yung negative convention gamit natin dito tapos q plus w tayo this becomes still positive no so that's why uh, for work work done minsan uh, lenient lang kami dito uh, so ang suggestion ko class whenever you answer these types of question always uh, regardless kung itatype nyo positive or negative dito kailangan always sabihin nyo kung um, kung work done by the system nya or work done uh, by the surroundings para at least alam namin kung ano yung uh, parang basic yung thought process nyo dito no? obviously so delta u dapat tama yung ilalagay nyo kung positive contribution or negative contribution by yung work uh, pero sa Q, because as, as you saw, no, regardless of what convention you use, Q will always retain uh, the correct sign. No? Kasi it's either heat is moving in or heat is moving out. Okay? So, ka kami, sa for Q, hindi kami, ma strict kami kumbaga sa positive and negative signs. W, uh, medyo lenient kami. We, we can uh, consider kahit negative yung nilagay, pero positive dalaga dapat. Uh, pero para ano mas mataas yung chance na tanggapin yung work nyo always include this no itong statement ito work is done by the system or work is done by the surroundings okay so yun um, so with that uh, na solve na natin no so meron tayong delta u uh, may q w delta u na complete na natin yung table no and now we can see na ano no yung sinasabi ko kanina na since this is a cyclic process, no, so meaning nag loop siya. So it went from state 1, going to state 2, then to state 3, then back to state 1 again. Tama? Since it's a loop, therefore the initial and final state is the same, no, yung overall delta u niya. So delta u for this process, itong cyclic loop na to should be equal to 0. And we should, if we take the uh, parang ano, no, mga different uh, paths and add all the delta u's, and since state function and delta u, dapat etong lahat ng to, etong tatlong to will be equal to 0. So let's check that, no? We know that uh, delta u for a is equal to 0 plus uh etong delta u for b is equal to negative 33.7. So that's negative 33.7. Tapos uh, delta u for c is plus 33.7 and we can see na uh it will all it will equal to 0, no? So this is true okay <coughs> okay so um okay na tayo sa problem actually no pero i i want to ano no uh and actually na nagawa ko na to kanina uh, hindi ko na, na hindi ko na record ulit so buburain ko na lang to uh, just to show you guys no uh, wait buburain ko na lang to ulit para gusto ko ulit ito no because uh, this is uh, interesting as well no Let me redo this now. And okay. So, um, if you look at it, class, no, atong si, atong from one to two, we've noted that yung delta u nya from one to two uh, is the same, no? Tama, dapat same lang to, eh, kasi uh, this is the same initial, same final, same siya. So that's why uh, it's a state function, no? Diba? Sabi natin, delta u, state function siya. Okay? Pero, uh, the same cannot be said for q and w, no? And in fact, si q and w are path dependent siya. Uh, itong q and w, they actually change depending on, I don't know, so this, uh, these are path functions. Okay? So we can actually see it here, no? Parang interesting siya. If you look at it, if we look at the, ano, no? Itong mga uh, curves natin. So if you look at 
uh, W, di ba, na namention ko kanina na, you can actually compute for W by just looking at the area under the curve, no? Kasi, di ba, pressure, volume to. And ang work naman natin is pressure, volume, work. So, if we take the area under the curve, then we get the uh, work done by a certain path. So, if we look at the area under the curve of path A, ito siya, ang work done niya is actually this one. Tama, no? That's for path A. Pero ang work done by uh, this isothermal path, itong path na to. So, this is uh, an isothermal path, no? Na, na, nabanggit ko ito kanina. Itong isothermal path from point 0.1 to point 0.2 actually has a smaller work done, no? Look at it. Dito lang yung work done niya. Okay? So, you can see that um, despite them having the same delta U, kasi technically, if you look at delta U ng isothermal, and delta u ng uh, itong straight line let's call it uh, straight line is yung a path no path a and let's just call this isothermal path as uh, kunwari path d siya no so let's see. delta u of path d and delta u of path a is are actually the same no Tama? they they are equal okay pero their uh, their q's and w's are not equal no magkaiba sila and we can compute that no na hindi sila actually the same so that is uh, that proves that there is a path dependency for Q and W pero for delta U hindi siya nagma-matter no yung path does not matter On, the only thing that matters is the the initial and the final uh, na states okay so we we can look at it graphically no pero anything na from from gra the graphical approach we can clearly see na magkaiba yung W nila which proves the path dependency pero pwede din natin siya i-compute no so let's try to compute it para um, medyo in depth yung ano natin no analysis ng problem na to so uh di ba sabi natin delta u d which is the uh, isothermal path is equal to delta u uh, a which is etong a is the straight line ito yung straight line ito yung isothermal okay so they they are the same pero magkaiba yung q and w niya okay so we've established na Delta U for the isothermal is equal to zero, is equal to zero, and as well as ito sa straight line is equal to zero. No? So with that, dapat Q is equal to W, because dito din Q is equal to W. We've already computed this, no? Ang na compute natin is 123.34. So we can prove na dapat if uh, the graphical approach is correct, no? Graphical approach is correct, dapat si yung mga compute natin na uh, Q and W for the isothermal path, ito, yung mga compute natin dyan, should be lower than this uh, 123.34 kilojoules na value. No? Okay? So, compute natin. Uh, the, if you look at this, uh, the work done, ito yung na-discuss natin ito kanina. No? Q is equal to W is equal to RT LN V final and in this case, it's V2 over V initial which is V1 no, yung state 1 or pwede rin uh, P, P1 P1 over P2 no? Tama? kasi this is one form if you um, if you replace it with the uh, yung relationship with uh, yung P and V dapat makukuha nyo rin to no? and you'll note uh, you'll see later na doesn't really matter no, kung V1 or V2 yung pinamit nyo ok so we can do work which is also heat is equal to R, which is uh, 8.314, which gives us uh, yung ano, no, kilojoules, nakakilojoules na siya. Then, we multiply it by yung temperature, is isothermal, and it's um, it is done at 300 degrees uh, Kelvin. Tapos, LN, we can do V2 over V1. V2 natin, if you look at this, it's uh, 246. V1 is 24.6. Tama? So, we can do 246 over 24.6 Pero pwede rin P2 over P1 So if you do P2 over P, uh, P1 over P2 I mean So P1 is uh, 10 Tapos P2 is 1 Tama? So we could actually have 10 over 1 And you can see na equal sila no? Kasi 246 over 24.6 is 10 10 over 1 is also 10 So you can do either no? So let's just do this So this becomes uh, That's 8.314 multiplied by 300 multiplied by ln of 10 Tama? this gives us uh, 5 
5.7 kilojoules and again per mole pa lang to no this is on a per mole basis so siguro uh, para hindi kayo malito no I, I, I can probably annotate yung mga yung summary natin just to show kung alin yung naka per mole at uh, ano yung kailangan natin multiply by the number of moles no but I think the summary shows all per mole basis uh, I'll double check no Okay, so ito, naka per mole pa lang to. So, uh, if we multiply this by the number of moles, which is 10 moles. So, most 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 of the time class, no, um, dito tayo nagkaka-encounter ng problem, no. If we forget the number of moles, lalo na pag yung given is hindi 1 mole lang. Pag 1 mole lang yung given, sobrang dali lang kasi regardless of kung makalimutan mo yung number of moles or not, uh, always uh, mag, mag, kung baga magiging tama yung sagot no kasi since naka 1 mole lang siya so kung naka per mole ka edi yun na yung sagot times 1 mole lang tama so yun madali lang kung naka 1 mole pero the issue now arises when uh, <coughs> magkaiba yung number of moles no which is yun yung naging issue ko kanina no nakalimutan ko na uh, na i take into account yung number of moles okay so if we multiply that by 10 that should give me 57 0.4 kilojoules okay so if you compare that to, let's compare this to 1 to 3 and 57.9 so graphically mas mababa talaga yung isothermal and and numerically when you compute the values mas mababa din talaga siya which proves na merong path dependency ang uh, Q and W okay and we can also look at uh, path B no if you look at path B ito yung ano niya area under the curve compare that with the area of under the curve of path D it's different although magkaiba kasi yung initial and final at this is moving 2 to 3 and 1 to 2 okay so uh, scratch that hindi 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 yan ang matter okay pero in any case yun uh, kaya natin i-improve na yung uh, path dependency ng Q and W as opposed to the path independency of the state function delta u okay so i think uh that's all for this problem no we we dove deep dito sa problem na to and if you have any more questions um you can uh, just message me no and siguro i can add more problems baka ma if, if although um, I'm looking at the handouts so yun, at sample calculations. Medyo in-depth na din naman siya kasi merong mga ano dun, eh, may idiobatic na din dun. So I think okay na siguro yun. Pero if you think it's not enough uh, just let me know. Tapos uh, or kung may mahanap kayong problems that you want to solve. Tapos nahihirapan kayo i-solve it on your own. Then you can send me the problem. Tapos try ko kayong tulungan on how to solve that problem. No? Okay. So yun, uh, thank you for uh, coming into the session kanina and uh, thank you for viewing this additional video no, para i-explain or yung itong appended video uh, para explain yung yung final answers natin dito. Okay, so see you next week. Bye guys.